Kind of cooking program. Well, today I'm gonna make it one of the best Caribbean roti. The best, 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 best Caribbean roti. Today, the recipe is a simple, easy, and quick, and you can make that roti roughly in 10 today minutes. Make one of the best Caribbean roti, and gonna, you can make it roughly in 10 minutes. First of all, you need a big bowl, very clean and nice. Second thing, you need a measurement. This is one cup right here. Then next, you need to get some flour. We're gonna get some all-purpose flour. Right here is one cup of flour, two cups of flour. Also got two tablespoons of baking powder. We're gonna put it straight inside of it. And also, I'm gonna use my spoon and we're gonna put a, a pinch of salt inside of it. Just like this, just a little pinch of salt, not too much. Then what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna put some shortening, roughly a spoon of shortening inside of it. Shortening, you can get it at any local shop, supermarket, grocery shop, anywhere local you can get shortening. Then next, I'm gonna simply use my spoon and incorporate the flour and the shortening together. You can also use it and if you do like, And if you can see what I'm doing, I'm copying the flour, the, sh the salt, and the shortening. Second thing, measurement again, one cup of water. Take a little time, add it in, and mix as it goes along. As you can see, looking as lovely. you can see, the one cups of water work really well with the two cups of flour. I know your hand gonna be a little bit messy, but you need to just scrape off the spoon like this using your hand. The next simple, just mix it together. If not, we can simply do the simple put a little bit more flour inside of the bowl by using a hand and simple mix it around just like this. And then you can eat simple beat it just like this also. Put a little bit more flour. Now we're gonna put this to rest for roughly good. 10 to 15 minutes inside of the bowl. Simple. Get a piece of a napkin and simple damp it with some water. Just like this. If you can, if you have a, a towel, you can also use it. Simple cover it just like this and leave it for 15 minutes. In between the meantime that is getting to rest, you put that to rest. Simple, I got a teaspoon of butter and I'm gonna put roughly two teaspoon of vegetable oil inside of this. Two teaspoon of vegetable oil and also a spoon of butter, teaspoon of butter. So now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for it to melt together. So now I just melt the butter with the oil. Cause the butter with the oil give it a nice flavor also. Simple, Re repair up your surface right here if any damp or dust or anything on it. Put that to the side. Then now it is 15 minutes now since I have the dough. Simple, just take it away as you can see, looking lovely. Now, what you're going to simply do, put a little bit of flour on the surface just like this. And next, put the dough on it. Simple press dough, just like this. Turn it over. So we're gonna simply do next now is you can use a knife or you can use a knife or if you want to use a table knife. Let's cut it 
So right here I have three pieces. You need to have a rolling pin. Make sure your rolling pin is clean. And simply put a little bit of flour also on the rolling pin. Take a little time and just simply roll it out just like this. Lift it up off the surface, make sure it flow on the surface. Simply put it back one more time. And this is one of the best roti you can ever think of. It's from the Caribbean. Next, put it over, make sure your surface is flow. Back over one more time. Next, use your brush with the oil with the butter and simple brush it just like this. Next, simple cut a little short, long cross. Just cut it down a little bit like this, like a part together. Next, take a little time and fold it around just like this. Then next, simply use your finger and simply push it down like this. Get the other side, do the same thing, just like this. And that's what makes it look really nice. So, now you're gonna put this to rest at the moment. Also, but in the bowl, and then we're gonna do the other one, just like this yeah, also. The next one. This is the last one. Take a little time and simply roll it out just like this. Dip it into the butter with the oil. You can use a knife, but you have to be careful if you're using a knife. Remember, use a finger and simply push it down just like this. Put the other side also. And next, let's put it to rest for another good 10 minutes. And right here, this is what I did. I just put them to rest like this for 10 minutes. So in the meantime that is rest, you can be cleaning up the surface and also wash up back some of your stuff in the meantime. So it's a nice, good, beautiful roti for your so Now we're going to see how the roti look. Right here I have them on the plate, same way. Now let's move with the plate. As you can see, this is the way they look. Look at this. Beautiful and nice. And now what we're going to simply do, we're going to roll them out now. First, you need to put a little bit more flour on your working surface. Flour on the working surface, then get the dough. Simple. Just press it out into your hand like this. And see. And um, you're going to make it to according to your size of your pot. Take a little time. When you take a little time, it is more better for you to roll it out so you don't want it to. And as you can see, the shape of it, how it's coming on, lovely. Let's simply take it over, put it to the other side. Make 
show your pot. So in the meantime, you're doing this, then your pot can be keep warm in, in the meantime. You're rolling out it. Lovely. As you can see, looking really lovely and nice. And now we're going to put this straight inside of the pot. So you guys can see how this one look. Right here is my so front gonna pan right here. I'm using a front pan. I don't know, I'm putting a medium sized heat at the moment. And now I'm going to simple put it in just like this. I want to get everything inside of it. Nice one. Then remember you got your butter and your oil same way. You're going to need it for it to rub on top of it. And as you can see, those bubbling up. What you need to do is try and simple get it over to the other side. Nice and simple. Get your butter and your oil together and then just brush the top of it just like this. The reason why I, when you brush the top of it for it to get really flavor and nice and have it at a medium size heat so roughly about 3-3 three, three seconds on each side one a little thinner and what did the dough you need to just cut it into half because it's a little bit too thick so cut it into half so I'm, I'm gonna do this one now so now I'm gonna simply turn over this one nice one simple just brush it with a little bit of oil and the butter another one for you guys to see put a little flour on the surface as I said before now we're gonna get the dough simple cut it into half like this and this piece right here simple press it up just like this then get your rolling pin take a little time and roll it like this Over to the other side. As you can see, looking lovely so far. Next, next side. My frying pan is starting to get hot, so that's fine. knife and make like a room circle inside of it cut off the edges just to make it look round looking really lovely and nice so uh, let's put this one inside of the frying pan because this one is ready nice one one at the moment simple so taking the time spin it over just like that and in the meantime, that one is spin over, we can simply do is to do the other one just as so in the meantime. So, next, then a simple, and brush. simple brush the other side. And turn it over. Right 
roughly two two seconds on each side until you get that color beautiful what I want to simply say to you, you have to be careful now I'm going to simply show you an idea what you can do because this one is ready so now I'm going to simple. don't use it and you can use a gloves or something and do what I'm doing just simply break it up just like this look at this, simply just break it up like this after you do that then simply fold into half and into another half like this and then that's a roti then now we're going to do another one now this one going to be ready put it inside like this nice one so at roughly three second three minutes or no, roughly three seconds let me see start to get proper as you can see already turn over to the other side like this then simple brush it with a little bit of oil ready turn off my stove be careful as I said don't use a hand simple let's break it up just like this you can see what I'm doing nice fold into half and then that's it that's what you're looking for lovely and nice put it on a napkin and that's it the way it look right here so this is a beautiful roti as you can see I put it on a napkin so right here really is nice. the roti looking really lovely and nice so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the recipe and subscribe my youtube channel remember to leave your comments if you see something you want me to make it for you I will definitely make it for you so enjoy the, the roti recipe from Chef Ricardo bye and remember the roti you can go with anything you like as you can see, really nice and beautiful roti. So enjoy the recipe. Bye.